Hey there YouTube, it's GunDude73 making another episode of Knife Talk, and today I'll be talking about uh, collectors, like knife collectors. Um, really, like, there's two schools of thought when it comes to knives. You're either a collector or a user for the most part. Granted, you could collect users, or uh, used collectors, ha. But um, really, that's there's only really two, you know. I mean, if you're a collector, generally speaking, you you won't really use your knives as much. You may not even use knives at all. You may not carry a knife, but you still like them, and you basically just buy them to have. You know, they'll just sit in a box, and you'll revel in the fact that you own, like, a rare knife or whatever. You know, like, I bet there are a handful of people out there who, with their Kirkshot tilt, you know, they bought it. They were on a pre-order for a long time, anxious to get it, and then the second they get it, you know, they may open it once or twice, and then they put it back in its box, and they put it in their safe, and they haven't seen it since the day they bought it. You know, there's probably people out there like that, who just buy a knife to have. And then there's people who are users who they got their tilt, and the second they got it, they started using it. You know, they started, they put it in their pocket, they started using it right away. Now, I mean, in my opinion, if you're collecting knives for the sole purpose of having them and not to use them, it's almost defeating the purpose, you know? It's like if you buy a high-end knife like a tilt, let's just say, you know, part of the cost in this knife, you know, are the materials that are higher end and they'll last longer, but, I mean, the steel. The steel in the tilt is Vanax 75. It's rarer, it's more expensive, it's harder to work with, driving up the cost of the knife. So, I mean, if you're a user and you bought this knife, I mean, you're all happy because, you know, hey, I got this really cool steel that'll cut for a long time. But if you're a collector and you bought it, there's no real point. Why not buy a knife with 440A? You know, it'll be cheaper, right? Because you're not going to use it. It's just going to sit there. You know, I mean, like, even Sal Glesser has said that, like, if you buy a knife and just leave it in its box, you know, you're defeating, like, 85% of that knife being all the work that went into it. 85% is, like, flushed down the drain. You know, you might as well not even bother. So, I mean... I just don't understand it, you know, I mean, like, like, I could see if you collect maybe militaries, and you have one user military, and then, like, ten others that are just sitting around, I could see that, but, I mean, if you have, like, one of a knife, there's really no point to not use it, that makes sense, you know, but some people do, it makes them happy to just have a pristine knife that has never seen any cutting, even though, I mean, like, if you, you it's like buying the best thing, and not using it. I just don't understand that, but it brings happiness to some people and, you know, different strokes for different folks and whatnot. So whatever works, you know. So, uh, hope you found that informative, guys, and uh, thanks for the requests and whatnot, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.